Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to take some good old lights. These are 12 volt automotive strobe, not strobe, but they're LED uh, flood slash spot headlights. And we're gonna show you how to use them in your Christmas light show. And so capping out, kind of finishing up our series this month, we've been talking all about different types of weird types of lights you can get into your display. And this is by no means, by no means, a comprehensive list. Um, there's people doing all kinds of crazy stuff with animatronics, but I try to hit the stuff that's pretty easy for the average person to do, because after all, I'm just an average person like you. So today we've got these lights. How are we gonna control? Well, first let's talk about the lights themselves. I bought these on Amazon. They are a 12 volt vehicle, um, you know, flood spotlight. And so what that means is it runs off 12 volt DC power, the same power we run our pixels on. So if I take a mean well, 12 volt power supply, very standard one. And I just take this guy, red's gonna be my hot, black's gonna be my, uh, my negative. We just take him and we plug him in, try to get it pointing at you. And so I'm just going to hold it to the terminals here. You see there, whoa, that's bright. You get a nice bright pop of light. So we know that this just needs to be wired to a 12 volt DC power supply in order to work. And so the next question becomes, okay, so you've got a Christmas light show. How do you control it as part of your show? Well, we've talked already here on the channel about using DMX lights uh, in your show, different ways to do that. And so what I've got here is I've got just a quick little DMX circuit board that you can get on Amazon. It's a relay board, okay? What a relay is, is it's a, a little electronic component that turns stuff on and off. There's three of them on here, okay? These are the relays. And then all you do is you go ahead and you hook up, there's a volt plus and volt minus, that's for a 12 volt input, I believe, to power it. Um, and then there's K1, K2, and K3. And you check your wiring diagram, I'll look at mine on Amazon, and you wire these together, okay? So it's really simple. You just take wire that's good enough to power these lights, okay? So for example here, I've got a bunch of 18 gauge uh, cord in here. Just different remnants of 18 gauge cable that I've used for different pixel stuff over time. And I'll grab some wire strippers. Grab some wire strippers. And so all I've got to do to wire this up is, is because I know this can run straight off this power supply. Is one. I hook up DMX on this side of this little board. Okay, so it's got DMX in, data plus, data minus, ground. I set my DMX address on the dip switches, which is in the manual for this little unit. Then, and these are all different, all these relays, you just bring in your power on the relay, okay? So that comes directly off the mean well. You just gotta make sure the wire between the mean well and uh, this unit is enough for all of these lights. Now these lights, I don't remember off the top of my head, but they're just a couple watts each, maybe nine watts. So we're talking 18 watts at 12 volts, 18 divided by 12. Oh, that's one and a half amps, okay? So on a short run like this, 18 gauge wire would be more than fine. So I'm gonna hook that up here, basically. I'll just do it quickly here so you can see as a demonstration that I'm gonna hook up this guy, volt plus and minus to this input here on this board, okay? Then I go ahead on these same terminal blocks and I've got K1, I've got two of those, I've got two K2s, two K3s. On the particular one that I've got here, um, in terminal blocks like other things are removable for wiring, the first K1 is the input signal. The second is the out, okay? So the power that's coming in on this first set of pins is really just to power the electronics in this relay board that determine, take the DMX and turn the lights on and off, okay? Then the K1, two sets, K2, K3, is literally just from this power supply, or you could jump it from this first set of terminals, to 
Um, it's just a, a interruption, right? It's like a light switch, okay? Between the power and the light. So we're gonna hook up that. We could just jump right from here, but um, for multiple lights, it's that's gonna be a little bit tight, perhaps. Um, so you might come off the power supply directly, and if they're in the same enclosure, that's really not a, a big deal. So we bring that over, one, two, three. We come out to our lights, and then what I like to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and connect up these connectors. So these are just cable glands. I bought these on Amazon like everything, um, but these ones are for power. And so the cool thing about them is that they have little tiny screw terminals for three conductors. We're only using two. And uh, are they labeled on these ones? They're not labeled, so be sure to connect them well. It looks like there's two that have a, a metal thing and one that's the ground. So you just connect through and the volts will travel. Okay, positive to positive, negative to negative. So one side goes the light, the other side goes the cable. You close it all up, and then you can put these, you know, you can use this as your quick connect when you're setting up your display. Uh, you know, put this at the light, and then have a, have a cord coming out of your controller. Okay, and so then once we're done, we're going to have this all hooked up and be able to run this from our display. So I'm going to go hook it up and then come right back and we'll we'll cover using it in our display all right so we got it all together it's all wired it's all plugged in a couple notes of course um just you know basics here be safe with electricity don't ever work with electricity while it's hot um also um i used a wego type connector uh, if you're not familiar with these we'll link to them below on amazon uh, they are great for making temporary stuff way better than wire nuts um, for making temporary connections. And then I use these waterproof connectors, as mentioned. Uh, you want to check with these guys. One, you know, look here. This right here, I, I need to cut back so that only the big round part of the wire, the outer insulation, is uh, sticking out. So that inner stuff's not sticking out. Because that right now is not waterproof. Uh, same on the other side. And if I were doing this in my display, the runs of wire would probably be longer. I would probably use 16 gauge wire, which would then be waterproof because right now that doesn't quite fill the circle and is not waterproof. But it demonstrates, I hook this up, turn this on. Again, main power coming into my Meanwell power supply. Power going to the relay board. DMX would go out to my DMX controller. Uh, that would be a Culp or Falcon probably. I often use Cat5 for that, um, and there's a very standard pinout for that. Then um, switched power coming into the relays, coming out to the lights. I can put them anywhere. And then when I put this into test mode, ta-da! We now have the ability to turn on and on these lights in our display. So if you like this, check out more here from Learn Christmas Lighting. Subscribe here and grab our free guide to begin with Christmas lighting. It's the three things you really need to know before you make your first display. We'll see you on the site. Thanks.